Hi, this is Kevin Hawk with TheBassCast.com and this week I want to share with you a few of the confidence baits that I always have tied on going into a tournament to help me locate fish. The first one is a bladed vibrating jig. This has been out for several years now but it's really really gained a lot of popularity recently, um, you know the past few years. If there's, if there's one crucial tip I can give you about this bait, it's you need to experiment with the d different types of trailers you can throw on it. Sometimes they want a trailer that moves a lot of water and has a lot of action. And for times when they're really active like that, I want a Yamamoto saltwater swim bait or a Reaction Innovation skinny dipper. Something with that paddle tail style of trailer that really displaces a lot of water. Other times when they want something a little bit more subtle, um, you know, you can go with the Zoom Super Fluke or even the Zoom Split Tail Trailer, something you would typically throw on a spinner bait. And another thing that you need to do is, is throw this on, on stout line. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I see people throwing this on 10, 12 pound fluorocarbon and, you know, that's just really too light. You need to be throwing it on 15 all the way up to 20 pound fluorocarbon depending on, you know, the type of cover that you're fishing. Um, I like to personally throw it on a 7 to 7.5 foot medium heavy action rod. Another confidence bait that I have is the Lucky Craft RC 1.5 square bill. Um, it just seems like wherever I go, this bait you know, will, will help me locate fish quickly. Uh, whether I'm fishing riprap, whether I'm fishing down a hard grass line, snapping it free when it gets hung up. Um, a lot of guys that I see throwing this bait like to throw it like on a softer crankbait rod. I personally like to throw it on a medium heavy graphite rod with heavier line, anywhere from 15 to up to 17 pound fluorocarbon. And I just feel like I have more control of the bait, uh, I can cast it better, and it helps me control the fish when I do catch one. Finally, I always have a jig tied on. This is a 4x4 casting jig. Uh, what's great about this jig is a lot of the weight is positioned at the top of the head, which is what you want and the angle of the, of the line guard comes right directly over the top of the hook. Um, you know, I prefer a straight green pumpkin jig with a green pumpkin trailer. Uh, most of the time I throw a young motor flapping hog. And you know, what's great about a jig is you can cast it out and work a rock pile in 30 feet of water, or you can skip it underneath a dock, or you can flip or pitch it next to laydowns. And it catches fish and it catches a lot of fish. Um, some of my best fish that I've caught this year in tournaments have been on the jig. So, you know, a lot of times when other guys are downsizing, pitching a shaky head or a drop shot around, I'll pick up a jig. I hope these tips help you catch more fish on your lake or your river. Join me next week for another tip on thebasscast.com.